Where all eyes will be on the U.S. Capitol tonight, President Biden will deliver his first State of the Union address in a little more than three hours from now. Pennsylvania Congresswoman Mary Gay Scanlon will be at the speech as well tonight. She joins us live from Capitol Hill. Thank you for joining us. Congresswoman, we are all watching the horrific scenes play out in Ukraine. What do you believe the president needs to tell Americans about the war and why? Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for having me on. Um, obviously, the president will be discussing what's going on in Ukraine with the American people, but he has done what he promised to do, which is he's built, rebuilt our alliances, particularly with NATO. And America, along with the international community, is meeting this moment to provide support for Ukraine mm -hmm. in its battle for democracy over the autocracy and the violations of international law by Vladimir Putin. And Congressman, the war, of course, will be one of the many subjects tonight. Another topic finds a lot of people getting hit hard in their wallets right now due to rising inflation. Now a new poll from CBS News shows only 30 percent of Americans approve of how the president is handling the inflation situation. What can Congress and the president do to help people struggling with the skyrocketing prices? Sure. Sure, it's hitting everyone's wallets, and particularly in the energy sector, we've seen that. I mean, there's a lot of work that has to be done as we recover from the pandemic. We've seen massive disruption to the global economy. You know, it's not just hitting us here in the U.S., it's hitting across the world. Mm -hmm. So um, we have been working to uh, un unblock the supply chains, to look at places where people are price gouging, and we've seen that partic particularly in the oil and gas sector, um, looking to... Uh, reintroduce the child tax credit and other measures to lower costs for American families and wanting to continue to work on reducing prescription drug prices, which has been a driver in uh, the rise in prices for families for years. Uh, yes, it's certainly hitting us hard, all of us. Now, we're going three years of the pandemic into three years, an issue that has loomed over President Biden's presidency thus far. More and more mass mandates are being lifted, but we are still not done with this virus with about, what, 2,000 Americans dying every day. What's the message sure. Americans need to hear about when it comes to the next phase of the pandemic? Sure. I mean, we're moving to a phase where we have um, the drugs to prevent the disease, to prevent serious disease. We have the drugs to help people recover. Um, but we're entering a stage where it's called an endemic instead of a pandemic. Mm. We have to manage it. So we're at a point right now where we're able to unmask and to be in closer contact with people, and we should all enjoy that while we have that opportunity. But if we get a new variant, we'll have to be careful again. So it's learning to live with the disease, but at this point in time, there's the opportunity to unmask and be with friends and neighbors for a while. We'll just have to continue to be careful and monitor the situation in region by region. Like we said at the start of it, we're all in this together. Thank you, Congressman, Congresswoman Scanlon. We'll see Absolutely. you later tonight. You got it. Thank you. And you can watch the State of the Union address and the Republican response here on CBS3. Coverage begins at 9 o'clock tonight. Just